transition from uh, the 2010 season to, to the 2011 season uh, is going to be pretty dramatic. Uh, last year we only had eight games, we kind of just got our feet wet, and this year we're going to be having 16 games. Last year I only had two uh, players on my team that actually saw a lacrosse game um, or participated in a lacrosse game before, Jan before January of last year. Um, this year it's, we're at basically 95%. Um, um, which is great. I mean, you can kind of see the transition up the field. You're seeing a lot more difference when it comes um, to our attack play. The motion's going really well, um, as well as the clearing out from the goalie uh, moving up the field. Um, just the skill level's better. Um, you know, I, I honestly think that, you know, we're just making every single practice, we're making strides in the right direction. And, you know, I honestly I feel as though we are going to be um, a force to reckon with in the next couple of years. Some of our returners for the 2011 women's lacrosse season are um, Ashley Stevens. She was a terrific midfielder for us last year. Um, she's going to be making the transition to goalie this year, which she seems to be doing very well. Um, I actually have no worries on that end. Um, another um, upperclassman that's going to be really contributing is going to be Alex Orwell. She's going to be running our defense uh, this season. Uh, she was a newcomer to the women's lacrosse game last year, and um, you know it's kind of great because you can mold her, and she doesn't really form any bad habits. So um, that she'll definitely be contributing a lot, uh, defense running it and calling the crashes and uh, to the slides and everything like that. Um, another contributor is going to be Callie Jones. She's going to be helping out in our midfield as well as our defense. Um, her quickness in itself um, is what makes her a great player. And then. Uh, Lastly is Jess Anderson. She is um, one of our recruits that came in last year. She's going to be great as a midfielder. She seems to be stepping up leadership-wise this year as well, um, really communicating on the field. Um, but our team this year will be led by uh, captains of Ashley Stevens and Alex Orwell, and I feel that those are both great choices. I'm trying to transition from being a midfielder to a goalie because I just want to come out and help on the field. But now I need to step back and I need to direct from the net. And it's also really hard to be behind everybody's shot, but I feel like I will step up and do the best I can. Well, my personal goals for the season are to be a strong leader on and off the field. Um, I want to set an example to the ladies and let them know that um, you can do everything. You can be an athlete. You can be well-versed in your academic career. And um, definitely just to conduct yourself as, as ladies and women. Um, another personal goal for myself is um, I'm actually playing defense this year, which is a transition from last year, always playing attack. Um, I definitely want to be a strong defense woman, I suppose you should say that. <laughs> um, just not not let anyone in the eight, and um, definitely protect Ashley, Ashley this year, and, and work together as a team. Um, team goals, I really want to focus on a cohesive atmosphere, um, everyone working together to a common goal of not only winning, obviously, but um, personal growth and development as well. Um, my first recruiting class here at Randolph um, is a very strong class. Um, we're pretty diverse. We have a lot of midfielders as well as attack. Um, that's something I'm not really worried about this year with when it comes to my freshmen um, putting the ball in the back of the net. Uh, we have a lot of talent. Um, some standouts are going to be um, Sammy Maggard, uh, who's from Maryland. Um, she's little, but she's spicy. And um, then there's also Nusha Kaz from North Carolina. She's going to be a great midfielder. Uh, she, she's pretty driven and pushes herself. And uh, lastly, I want to say uh, Ashley Edwards. Uh, she was a transfer coming in uh, this coming spring, and you know she's from right outside of Charlottesville, and she's definitely taken a leadership role e even just in preseason. Uh, the group as a whole, they mesh really well with my sophomores. Um, you know, like I said before, we are a young team, um, but it's kind of great because the, every little milestone that we make, um, it's us and completely this whole entire way. So I think that. Um, the freshman this year is good as well as the sophomore is going to be a great foundation for uh, seasons to come. I'm really excited about the newcomers this year. I feel like each and every one of them will bring something new to the plate um, come this season. Um, especially a couple of the first years that I come up, like think of right off the bat, is Mel, um, Court, Sammy Maggard, and Ashley Edwards. Each of them has regressed um, a lot. Uh, they either contribute well defensively or, you know, attacking wise. And I'm really excited to see what they can do against um, teams like Bridgewater and Holland and see what they can do for the team. Uh, the Odic in itself is a very competitive conference when it comes to women's lacrosse. Um, you have nationally ranked teams such as Washington and Lee as well as Roanoke. Um, you know, I think with us this year, it's just going to be baby steps. I think we're going to make some great accomplishments. We're actually going to probably take some teams off guard, and um, I really see us doing well uh, in the ODAC. 
this season and uh, for seasons to come. Run Up Athletics, as well as the Randolph College Women's Lacrosse Team, is a place that um, recruits can come in and really start contributing right away. Um, especially our class of 2015 that will be coming in this coming fall. Um, you're not necessarily waiting for a senior to graduate when it comes to our team. Um, you can come in, uh, be a part of the solid foundation that we've started, and really um, get some playing time right off the bat. Uh, well, I love both of our coaches, Coach Wagner and Coach Nutter. Um, I think that they both bring different aspects uh, to the team. Um, Coach Wagner's style is very uh, direct, business oriented. Um, we always go into practice with a plan and she definitely keeps us focused and makes sure that we make the very most out of our two hours on the turf. Um, Coach Nutter is more of the um, mother figure, kind of more guiding. Um, she definitely has a lot of great playing experience and she incorporates that into uh, all of her lessons that she tries to give us on the field. Um, as a whole, I adore both coaches and I feel like they have definitely um, done their best to ensure that each and every individual on the team uh, reaches their full potential and definitely inspire us to be better women.